Hi, I'm Sharon Brummer from CHI Health Good Samaritan Hospital in Kearney. I work in the emergency department and the OB department. And today I'm going to read to you a book. It's called The Bernstein Bears Safe and Sound, written by Jan and Mike Bernstein. Brother and Sister Bear didn't like to just sit around all day. They liked to go outside and do things. One bright Saturday afternoon, they ran outside after lunch and hopped on their trusty skateboards. They took off down the driveway, heading for the schoolyard. Just a minute, called Mama, running after them. Aren't you two forgetting something? She held up their safety helmets, knee pads, and elbow and wrist guards. Oh, Mama, said Brother, do we really need those? We're just going down to the schoolyard for a while. Be that as it may, said Mama, planting the helmets firmly on their heads. Better safe than sorry. But Mama, complained Sister, these pads and helmets are hot and heavy. If you want to go skateboarding, said Mama, crossing her arms, you're going to wear your safety gear. Brother and Sister knew better than to argue with Mama when her arms were crossed. <clears throat> okay, Mama, they both sighed hopping back on their boards and heading down the road at top speed to make up for lost time. But when they arrived at the schoolyard, instead of finding it full of cubs zipping around on their skateboards, they saw a crowd gathered around a big sign. The sign said, No skateboarding allowed on weekends, by order of Mr. Honeycomb Principal. Oh no, said Cousin Fred, why aren't we allowed to skateboard here anymore? Mr. Honeycomb said it's too dangerous to skateboard when the teachers aren't on duty to keep an eye on us, said Queenie McBear, who was always in the know. Disgusted, the cubs picked up their skateboards and headed for home. Sister and brother trudged along, taking turns kicking a tin can down the road. Brother groaned, what are we going to do now? I don't know, said sister. Do something else, I guess. Like what, said brother. Before they could figure out a new plan, Too Tall Grizzly and his gang stepped out from behind the bushes. Why are you goody two-shoes moping around, he sneered. Are you late for ballet class? The rest of the gang laughed. Brother and sister were too gloomy to get angry. No, Too Tall explained brother. They closed the schoolyard for skateboarding. Now we've got nowhere to skateboard on weekends. No problem, Too Tall grinned. We've got a place to skateboard. Brother and sister brightened up. Really, they said, where? Our own private skate park, said Too Tall, putting his arm around brother's shoulders. Just step this way. Too Tall's skate park was jammed in among the tree trunks. We built this ourselves, said Too Tall. We've got the works, jumps and ramps, rails and half pikes. Wow, said brother, this is great. Go ahead and try it out, said Too Tall. We've got just one rule. No safety gear allowed. What, said brother and sister startled. That's right, said Too Tall. Safety is for sissies. Too Tall and the gang got on their homemade skateboards and hit the ramps. Brother and sister hesitated. They could almost hear Mama Bear saying, better safe than sorry. But Too Tall was entitled to make his own rules. It didn't take them long to drop their helmets and pads quietly in the bushes. Whoopee, yelled brother as he zoomed off a hollow tree halfpipe. Geronimo, shouted sister, doing a grab as she shot up from an old stump ramp. Then Too Tall lost his balance on a twisty branch rail and went flying head over heels into a sticker bush. Kerflump! The gang all took a break to dig him out. How many fingers can you see, asked brother, holding three fingers in front of Too Tall's nose. Uh, twelve? Guess Too Tall, his eyes rolling. Maybe you should take a break, Too Tall, said sister. No, he laughed. I'm fine. Come on, you guys, back to the ramps. Brother and sister watched Too Tall trying to get on a skateboard. He wasn't having much success. Hmm, they both said. Maybe it was better to be safe than sorry after all. Brother and sister picked up their safety gear and sneaked out of the woods while Too Tall and the gang were bouncing off the trees but they still had no place to skateboard. When they got home, they were down in the dumps. What's wrong, Papa asked. Why are you back so soon? 
Brother explained about the schoolyard being closed to skateboarding. So where are you going to skateboard now? asked Papa. No place, said Brother. Too Tall has a skate park in the woods, but he won't let us wear our safety gear, and well, we don't think that's such a good idea. Smart thinking, said Papa, impressed. Now, I think I know how to solve this little problem. He went into his workshop and brought out some sheets of plywood. These ought to work, he said. What are you going to do, asked brother and sister. We are going to build our very own skate park, said Papa, grabbing his tools. Yay, cried sister and brother, jumping up and down in excitement. Papa asked Farmer Ben if they could build the skate park in his unused back pasture. Farmer Ben thought it was a fine idea. Papa, Mama, brother, sister, and even little Honey all set to work. Brother and sister were the designers, Papa was the carpenter, and Mama and Honey were the painters. Word of the Bears Family Skate Park project got around the neighborhood, and before long, other bears showed up to help out. Soon, Farmer Ben, Grizzly Gus, Officer Marguerite, Teacher Bob, and even Principal Honeycomb were down in the back pasture helping to build the skate park. Farmer Ben's cows had a ringside seat. When the park was finished, it was decided that it would be the official Bear Country Skate Park. Mayor Honeypot himself came to the opening and gave a speech. He was almost knocked over by the rush of cubs trying to get in. Even Too Tall and his gang showed up. But the Bear Country Skate Park had just one rule. Safety gear must be worn at all times, even by Too Tall Grizzly. Like I always said, Too Tall said, better safe than sorry. Thanks for listening to this book. There's a couple things to remember. When you're going to be skateboarding or even maybe bike riding, always wear your helmet and other safety gear. Another thing we can remember is if something doesn't seem safe, talk to an adult. They can help you come up with a way to make it safe and still have lots of fun. And the last thing we all need to remember, what did Mama Bear say? Better safe than sorry. Always put safety first. Thanks for listening.